Hello bros, today let's talk about the negative effect that alcohol can have on your testosterone levels, right? I know this is something not many of us want to talk about if we drink and it can be quite a contentious subject in the testosterone replacement therapy community. As you can see, I've got my booze waiting over here. But alcohol is definitely one of the worst things that you can consume uh, in terms of your T levels. And despite this, many of us still decide to drink and just deal with the negative effects. So you might be asking yourself, well, what are the negative effects of drinking, right? And that's what we're going to discuss today. So before I begin, I just want to start by saying that these negative effects, obviously the severity of the negative effects when you drink in term, uh, relating to testosterone levels depends on the amount that you drink, right? So if you drink very little to just below moderate amounts, you're probably not going to see any or small amounts of these negative side effects, right? But if you drink moderate to a lot to excess, these effects are going to be more pronounced and more amplified, so you certainly want to be aware of them. Right? So the first thing that alcohol does is it lowers your testosterone and it increases estrogen or estradiol in your body, right? Now the last thing you want to have happen to you as a man, especially someone that is aiming for optimal T levels, is to have low testosterone and high estrogen, right? And I'm not going to get into that too much, but as may, uh, many of you may as already know, may of already know, Having high estrogen is gonna, estrogen is the female hormone and having a lot of that is gonna give you kind of female symptoms, right? And one of the main ones that guys get, especially on TRT, when they have lower T and higher estrogen is gynecomastia, which is a, a longer way of saying bitch tits or man boobs, right? And you see this a lot, especially in guys that don't manage their testosterone levels properly and also in like the steroids and, and gym bros community where they have an a incorrect imbalance and you start to see things like these man boobs. Now, the second negative effect that alcohol can have on your testosterone is it can actually reduce the production of testosterone in your testes. Right, so that's actually not just lowering your testosterone, but re uh, reducing the production of it. And so, obviously, that's something that you want to avoid. And finally, alcohol obviously adds undue stress or undue stress on your liver. Okay, so most of these negative effects of alcohol affect your total testosterone, right? And usually, that effect is it lowers it. Now, the whole point of me and a lot of you and other people that are on testosterone replacement therapy is to have optimal or high levels of testosterone, you know, so that you live uh, happily and you have a general sense of well-being, that you're strong, that you're fit, and that you just function optimally. And alcohol obviously goes against that. Now, I'm not here to preach about what you should or what you shouldn't do regarding alcohol. Um, personally, I do drink, not a lot, you know, maybe once every one or two or three weeks. But there are, if you are someone that likes to drink, just be aware of the effects that it's having on your body. Now, I did create a video before this called Alcohol and Fitness Practical Advice That Actually Helps. And I'll leave a uh, link for that in the description below if you want to check it out. It's just a, another way of showing how you can drink responsibly and moder moderately without having too much of an impact on your health and more specifically your fitness and your fitness goals. So check that out. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, click the subscribe button because I do a lot more videos like this in future and share it with a friend if you think it could help them. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.